welcome back and in this session i am going to discuss about i am going to provide an introduction to the plane figures and the concept of two dimensions and solid shapes and the concept of three dimensions so let's get started so let's first define plane figure what is a plane figure now when you say this i mean it, it gives an idea that very fundamentally a plane figure is something which varies only in two directions when drawn on paper and the plane figure has only length and breadth variation this is another way of putting it up now this type of figure which varies only in two directions when it is drawn on paper is also called as a two dimensional shape now the obvious examples here are given and the first one is a rectangle okay now let us just try to see how does it fit into a definition of the plane figures now we say that plane figures varies in two direction so if we see that if you take along the width then we have a variation along this and then if we take along the height or you can also call the uh, yeah yeah you can take this as a height or this is called as the length of this so basically it's, it's moving in this direction and it's varying in this direction okay so this is a two dimensional shape why because it is a plane similarly we have a circle again if you have a look at the circle there is a variation of this in this direction and then in this direction similarly if we have a look at the triangle it is occupying two dimensions here so that's why if you can see that the variation one is in this direction variation and the other one is here okay and then we have our obvious example which is the square and the square is also varying in two dimensions when i say varying it is it is the uh, you know it is the uh, direction in which it changes for example when i start from here i have traveled from here to here this is one straight direction and then i go again from here to here so this is the another direction so we say that this is a two dimensional shape okay they are also called as plane surfaces okay this is just another name for it plane surfaces i would also like to bring to your notice that these are like very regular variations of uh, plane figures you could also have irregular plane figures which is like for example let's just see a random figure like this now this figure is also varying in two dimensions that is this one and this one these two directions towards from let's say we can call it from uh let's say from this zero towards this one direction which is we can call as as the the right one and then towards the upwards direction so this is what we mean by plane figures and they are also called as the two dimensional shapes so having discussed two dimensional shapes now let us try to understand what do we mean by the solid shapes now if you just have a look at various objects around you in your day to day lives what will you find out you will find out that most of the objects they have the apart from length and breadth you also have that there has to be a perception of a depth right so for example if you for example if you take your computer or if you take the cpu you will find that it has length breadth and the depth as well right so generally you can say that solid shapes vary in three directions and we can also call them that those three directions could be length breadth and depth now since they are varying in three three uh, directions we call them as three dimensional shapes this is another way of telling it and here are the examples that you would find in your day to day lives so this one is a cylinder and i think you will find this cylinder the most common example of a cylinder is a gas cylinder that you have in your homes then we then this is a sphere the most common example of a spherical uh, shape is the tennis ball or any ball that you are using then you have this structure which is called a cuboid cuboid then we have a cube in which all the sides are of equal length we have this cube then this is another shape which we have cone the most obvious thing is an ice cream cone 
and then we have this shape as well which is uh, like a kind of a pyramid structure you can call it as a tetrahedron so these are the common examples of the three dimensional shapes that you will encounter in your day to day lives and when I say three dimensions if you see that all these figures they are giving you a notion of depth for example you do have variation in this direction that is one you have variation in other direction plus you also are having seeing a variation in this third direction and hence it is called a three dimensional shape so that was all about the solid shapes now let us